So this is the question, this is the topic that is on the mind of pretty much everyone in our city as we're especially heading into the NFL season. What is the future of our Cleveland Brown Stadium. All right, so the owners of the team, Jimmy and Dee Haslam, want to build a dome stadium, as we all know, in Brook Park, but many local leaders want the stadium to remain downtown. Uh, Cuyahoga County Executive Chris Ronane here today with his thoughts on the potential plans to move the stadium. Uh, welcome. Good Great to be to with see you. you this morning, morning everybody. Good, morning. Good to have you. Good yeah. to be here. We heard a little bit uh, when you talked to uh, Ed and Peggy yeah. uh, a little earlier this week. They asked you a couple questions about that as well. And and it's, it's, I mean, it's football season, right? People are yep. talking about it even more especially as it gets closer to that. So right. what are some of your thoughts about keeping uh, the stadium downtown? And, you know, if it's a county issue, yeah. shouldn't does it really matter where it goes? Well, well first of all, wishing yeah. the Browns well this season. Sure. We want to yes. have a great season ahead. Yes. Also got to say uh, kudos to the guards for sweeping the Cubs. Yeah, yes. Right? Yes. Right? <laughs> uh, look, we're a sports town, right? We've got three yeah. major teams, uh, the Cavs, the guards, and the Browns, obviously. There's an energy about keeping them all downtown. Uh, you know, there, there is a... a effect that's multiplying when it comes to restaurants, bars, hotels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've built this infrastructure to support a vibrant downtown that you know relies very much on entertainment because downtowns have changed. You know, office mm -hmm. space isn't as plentiful in the downtowns right. anymore after COVID. Mm -hmm. They're a little more fragile in terms of the cityscape. But our entertainment scene from Playhouse Square to the three, you know, facilities for our professional sports teams, uh, our lakefront, our metro parks, and things that are really happening in and around the downtown core that matter. The other thing I say about downtown, it's everybody's downtown. Whether you live in Brook Park, Bay Village, Westlake, Warrensville, Euclid, it's your downtown. It's a common space of our fans. You guys have really made an, an appeal to the Haslam's, to the Browns with yeah. the beautiful to design of the lakefront. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that and update our viewers right. on what you're proposing here in downtown to keep our Browns. And, and that is part of the keep our Browns downtown campaign is the fact that we have been building toward a lakefront and we're finally getting uh, some wind in our sails with the state of Ohio. The land bridge is real. We're starting to see this connection from the convention center right. happen. I, I was a former planning director. We worked on this a number of years back, but it's nice to see it taking hold now. Um, we were with the governor yesterday and talked more about that harbor front plan, you know, and, and there's a lot of there there. Um, between the convention center, the second phase of the Rock Hall, you know, the Hilton Hotel mm -hmm. is doing very well as our other downtown hotels. We just had a conference of 5,000 people here downtown this past week. We've had 60,000 hotel bed nights over the last two months. We don't want to see that pulled away. That gets pulled away, it deflates the balloon, if you will, and it's everything we've been building up toward. And so that lakefront, again, back to it, it's going to be open, it's going to be vibrant, it's going to be more developed in the nearer term, and especially with that second phase of Rock Hall, people want to be there. Yeah. So let me ask you this, if it does go out to Brook Park, is Dan Gilbert concerned that maybe it will take away events from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse? Because look, when we see the video yeah. and the beautiful montage that was created, we're like, wow, yeah. we see the Super Bowl here now. There's a big possibility. Well, I would wish or also concerts. that the Browns would bring their lakefront plans because I've seen them and they're pretty handsome in terms of the, sure. the other idea. Right. And I think the public should see it. Yeah, I can't speak for Dan Gilbert or uh, his Bedrock companies, but I can say uh, that we are concerned about that. You know, it don't, we don't want this to be a zero-sum game. We don't want the concerts to just shift such that the restaurants and the hotels that have been built here lose their footing right. and lose their business. This is nothing against Brook Park. i got to yeah. say this this morning and always. The mayor out there is terrific. Mm -hmm. His council is terrific. It's nothing against Brook Park. This is just about keeping the downtown core vibrant. And the Browns are a very big part of that, and they sure. know that. The other thing I just want to say is, you know, as county executive, I do have to watch the treasury of our taxpayers, you know, and the issue of the um, – finances is real. You know, $600 million in bond issuance from the county and that debt coverage is a real concern. And there's a fragile model that they've got out there. Um, and we don't take that lightly. So the dual effects of trying to keep a downtown vibrant and not soaking the taxpayers is why I said... Well, how does Park, that Park happen? What does that mean to taxpayers and businesses? How will they be affected or impacted? You know, two ways. I mean, one is the ongoing issues of everything we've built. Uh, small businesses, mm -hmm. restaurateurs, you know, mm -hmm. hotels, uh, they do get impacted when there's a migration of entertainment outside of the downtown core. Now, the second thing is a bit of the uh, horizon, but it is about um, being sure that we have a stable bond rating, you know, that we can borrow for other important projects. We've got big things happening from, uh, you know, Central Service Campus, which is a jail and many other things, to our courthouses, um, to, you know, our hospitals and the Rock yeah. Hall itself. Those have all been bonded out through Cuyahoga County. So we've got to make sure that we keep our bond portfolio tight and uh, not in a fragile position. The Brook Park model is, at this point for us, um, we have said continually, and, and really it's final for us, we've said it doesn't work. It doesn't hunt and we're not going to go 
there. So um, if the state you know, decides to make that plunge there or if the Haslam's decide to do more on their own, um, we get it. But we actually urge them to come home. You know, do this you have an a proposal? Site do for, you have pictures, a video? I think well, they, well, they have people the, would love to yeah, see I would your love idea. It too. I've seen their downtown You've plans. seen it. Yeah, and I think you should see it. Yes. But I think everybody should see it. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, you can imagine a bit of it. I mean, there is a connection from the Huntington Convention Center to the harbor front. Okay. Uh, at the harbor front, there's an open uh, park in front of the uh, Brown Stadium. There's residential development just north of Brown Stadium. Uh, there is um, a uh, you know a, a second phase of the Rock Hall. It's going to be exciting. It's going to open right. up in 2026. Everybody wants to know: We're is ready. there a dome? Yeah. Is there a dome on top of that? Y you know, I always think. With, it, with design, anything's possible. But I okay. want to say also, you know, while we talk about downtown, um, this may be first of two pots. There could be a, uh, a stadium in the future in the downtown mm -hmm. that, you know, has a dome. If that's where the NFL carries us and that's where the Haslam group uh, and the ownership group wants to go, we're just saying once you leave, you leave. You know, okay. trying to get you back. Remember 1999, if you can remember sure. that far okay. back. I mean, it was a struggle to, and to save our Browns campaign to have the NFL bring us back. By the way, the NFL told leadership then the only place we'll invest is downtown on the harbor front. They wanted that con connection to the Rock Hall for branding purposes. It's a little thing that's not often talked about. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I mean, look, uh, 2026 will be America 250. We've got a lot going on. The last time we really um, built out the harbor front, the waterfront line was the bicentennial. There's a lot of exciting stuff with, the, with Rock Hall's second phase. What are you mean looking at? Else. How many years would this be and in the process? You, you know, on the build out side, you're usually looking at, under normal construction for a normal building, a couple of years. You know, you might mm -hmm. be looking at two to four years in, in this case. Um, but this is a renovation strategy. But it's renovation plus. The plans we saw actually really looks like an entirely different stadium. You know, it's more enclosed. It's not fully enclosed overhead, but it's more enclosed. And it's got a ribbon of sort of activity at the ground level. I mean, think about it. You can go to restaurants and bars, you know, on the lake front even when the Browns aren't playing in town and it can be a part of the Browns town package downtown. Yeah. Is it is it really that far away when you when you look at it though? It's not like this is Akron, like they're talking about Biddle Stadium down, down. I mean, it's it's literally on the border of Cleveland. It's like a right across the street. And with the rapid access and the airport access and things like that, does it really is it really going to pull that much from the downtown core if it's so close to the downtown area? Yeah, I think so. I mean, because there is now a downtown resident population. There is a um, there's an there's a synergy when you're downtown. Uh, people make multiple stops downtown. You know. And I also want to talk logistics since you brought it up. Yeah. People do go to the airport on Sundays, you know, and to yeah. be caught in Brown's traffic when you're just trying to tech, catch a flight, you know, a commuter flight out, um, it, people, that's an issue. That's a real issue. The other issue is public safety. I mean, the, the city of Cleveland has over 1,100 police officers. They're used to this. They spend $90,000 on game day with over 100 officers working the downtown scene. Again, no disrespect to our partners at Brook Park, but yeah. there's 30 police officers out there. Those logistics and the costing out of those logistics hasn't happened. Chris, do you feel like the Haslam's are listening to you, or do you feel that it's it's already a done deal and they're kind of already doing what they want to do or do you think that they're being open-minded about saying what is the best thing let's investigate this we started this conversation with a conversation about the lakefront and the reinvestment in the existing stadium uh, the Haslam's have been conversant throughout the way I want to thank them for being good public partners in this town uh, that being said I mean we need to get back to the table to talk about many of the practical things that I mentioned and you know the county not uh, desiring to put its bond issuance as, out there, I mean, is a signal. And, and I want that signal to say come home mm -hmm. as much as go somewhere else. I mean, it, it just wouldn't be a mature move in this era to take the Browns further out. Um, you know, we've been there, done that. I don't think the NFL wants that black eye. We want to see our town have the Browns, and we want to see our Browns scheduled? downtown. Like we're, oh, we, I mean, as, I mean, as, right as now, often, as, as, like... often as anybody wants, we're together. Um, what we'd like to do is have the Browns come back to the table with Cleveland, which I think mm -hmm. is happening as we speak, and we'd like to join that conversation. City and county. I mean, the good things that got done in this town got done in partnership. You know, Gateway got done in the mm -hmm. 90s. We've got a championship uh, uh, basketball team in 2016 and we got one in the hunt in the baseball team right now. Gateway happened because the city, the county, uh, the Cleveland Partnership, our, our business chamber all came together to say let's do this and we did it and you know I got calls from all the people who built that this week and said preserve the assets, reinvest mm -hmm. in the downtown scape, create that walkable downtown that's unique in a mid-sized city of ours you know with three major sports teams. Again we're punching way above our weight in terms of the smallest town with the biggest three market teams mm -hmm. um, but Detroit's done it. They brought you know all three of their major teams back downtown um, you know the, the, it's, it's happening in other cities. It's, it's about the cityscape and the center city and trying to bring more entertainment value down there so so there's synergy, you know, within it.
And as you said, it's getting people talking, getting mm -hmm. excited yeah. about something, getting involved. Yeah. yeah. You know. True. And I got to give a shout out to the tailgaters who've been out there forever. You know, <laughs> I mean, they, they're, right? they're, they're, they're having fun on the beauty lot. And, you know, I, I think you go walk around there and say, hey, uh, what do you think? And I think a lot of them are going to say, we yeah. like it here. This is a part right. of who we are. It's the soul of who we are as a city. And the Browns are very much a heart and, and soul. And generations and generations and generations yeah, that exactly. they used to do that with their parents. I started our press conference last week talking about the many players I watched, you've watched. You know, as a kid, I sold ice cream right at the stadium. And, uh, you know, later on, I rolled tarps uh, for the Browns out in Berea when I was a college kid. I mean, there, it's, in, it's in all of us. You've right. all got your stories of yeah. a great day and, and maybe some tough days down there. But, hey, the Browns are ours and they're in <laughs> I our I still love yeah. them so yeah. much. We're fighting for them. Go Browns. Chris, we hope to talk again. Thanks, Thanks for making yeah. yourself available. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks.